welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina. I just had to get this guest on my show because I've known this gentleman. <laughs> his name is Ray Cousins. All he does is laugh. But um, I've known Ray for many years. Can I tell them when? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't give any years out. I can. But, but no, you can't. Yes, I can. So now we're going to have our first argument. I've known him since I was 16. There you go. But I'm not saying how. You were 13. Yeah, I loved all the women. No, 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 you were... <laughs> <laughs> no, he was 14, sorry. Made a mistake. But yes, and it's funny because all through our lives, on different places we've been to, we've always caught up with... Well, I mean, I saw you in Miami. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I met you in Vegas. Yes. And this is many years. Um, but you are a... Con he's a concert pianist. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. And you've actually played in Carnegie Hall, haven't you? Aeolian Hall, which oh. is part of it. Okay, that, okay. That's where okay. Gershwin did the first Rhapsody in Blue. Really? Yes. Absolutely. My friend, Ross Ryan, just finished a concert in, in uh, Carnegie Hall. Really? Last week. Oh, that's right. You were telling me about yes. that young lady. Yes. And But you also, you spent many years with Frank Sinatra. Yes. Oh, we're going to have yes answers. That's what we're going to have. Yes. Yes. I can't commit myself. You don't. <laughs> yeah, but you spent your time with, with Yes, I did. You did. And yeah. how, how did you get involved with that? And how did you start that? I met, by accident, a guy called Joe Namath. Oh, Joe Namath, a great football player. He's in London. But I didn't know where he was. Okay. And, and I played, played the piano. And uh, with all people, Paul McCartney was sitting next to me, right? And he said to me... Um, uh, is that what you do for a living? You play the piano? I said, well, no, actually, I'm trying to be a record producer. And he said, well, if you ever want to be a piano player and appear, if you come to New York, I'll introduce you to one man. So I didn't know who he was, so I said to him, well, I'm Ray Cousins, and he said, I'm Joe Namath, and I said to him, what do you do? <laughs> Typical English. Yes, and Typical. he said, I'm, I'm with the Jets, and I said, you're a singer in West Side Story. <laughs> You got the whole thing wrong. Yeah, wrong. Completely, completely. So he and he still became your friend. Yes, very much. <laughs> After all that. Because he liked my mother. Oh. Um, well, I came to New York six months later, and uh, he took me and he introduced me to a gentleman called Jilly Rizzo. Jilly Rizzo Jilly was, Rizzo. was Frank Sinatra's side-by-side -side guy. Yeah, best, best friends. <laughs> yes. And uh, he had this wonderful club called Jilly's in New York, right across from... Roseland Ballroom. Yep. That's what I remember. And uh, I, they got me up to play, and I wasn't really prepared. And I, I did the worst audition anybody could ever do on earth. Why, were you nervous? Well, not only was I nervous, but I was playing sort of, at that point, I had just finished university. I was 19 and a half. Oh, you were so young. And I graduated out of university, and I came out with a bachelor's degree in music, and then an LRAM, which is a licentiate at the Royal Academy, and ARCM which is associated with the World College. And I could play classical music. So I sat down in this jazz club and I was oh, playing no. semi-classical music and nobody paid any attention. You should have been playing and Blues no. or something was your favorite. No, not even at that point I wasn't doing it. I wasn't doing it at that point. And then at the very end of the night, I was standing at the piano and uh, Julie had said, hang on to the end of the night, I want to talk to you about something. And it was a quarter to four in the morning. I remember that. And I was standing at the piano and the lights went on and Frank Sinatra was standing at the end of the piano and he looked at me and he went like this. So he came over to me and I said, well, what does that mean? He said, well, he said, that's about the minimum amount of potential you have at the moment. <laughs> But you Zero have potential. But you have, well, at least you got that. Yes, well, I got that. You got that. I also meant something else. <laughs> <laughs> I got that, and he was quite happy. So I was there on and off. I worked Julie's in, in the spring and summer in New York, and I worked Julie's in Miami Beach in, in the winter. Same crowd, back and forward, all the time. And did you actually play for Frank Sinatra? No, not at that point. Okay. Well, I played for everybody else. He okay. used to come in and sing, but he would be very hesitant. And then Julie said to me one night, well, we're going out to Palm Springs, so pack a little bag. That was his great thing. We went out <laughs> to Palm Springs, and um, he said, get ready. I said, okay. And I came downstairs, and we drove around for about seven minutes around Palm Springs, and we drove up to this place, this sort of driveway with enormous doors. The most thing, and as they opened like this, the first thing I saw was, was uh, um, a caboose. 
a full size caboose sitting on a set of rails, a red one, right? Right. And behind that was a was a helicopter sitting on a pad, and I I, I no I didn't. You said, where am I? Where is this? I said I said he took me into a room. He left me in the room, and he said, "Stay here till I come back for you." And so I was looking around. The room was fabulous, fabulous room. Wonderful pictures, black and white pictures. Gregory Peck was one of his very favorite people. Right? Okay. And. Uh, I was sitting at the piano again, and I was just moving it around, and Frank Sinatra walked into it, and I said to him, the hell are you doing here? And he said, this is my house. I, I, <laughs> I live here. So I said to him, I, when you met me, I didn't think you were very impressed by me because you said that was the amount of potential you have. I said, well, where is it now? And he said, well, it's about that. <laughs> That's a big, wow. So he said, come out and play for my friends. There was 150 people outside having a, a dinner, and it was, it was for the, the paying off, it was called the paying off of the mortgage. His mom, mother, uh, was in a terrible plane crash on San Jacinto, yeah. right? And he built a chapel in her name up there. So this was everybody paying off the, the chapel the mortgage. Oh, sure. and what a beautiful story. Everybody was there. Sammy came out and said to me, uh, I want to sing a song with you, and we did. Oh, was Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah, the Bojangles. Yeah. Dean yeah. got up and he sang. Uh, so you played for all these for people, all and then you've also played on the cruise lines, yes. and you've done, well, you've had an incredible life. For Shirley Bassey a lot. Shirley Bassey. Oh, Shirley Bassey was very was was somebody who sort of I started working with even when I was at university, sort of get me into playing and. One of the reasons I got jobs with everybody because I was a very good accompanist. So I could do everything for anything them. Anything what they wanted, the yes. right key and the right this and, and I the right sang. other thing. So I knew where the breathing By was. By the way, um, Ray has a fabulous singing voice. He sings, it's, it's, it's very, uh, I call him my Tony Bennett. He's, you've got a, yes, I think you're saying. Tony Bennett's 90, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Not the age, but, uh, but the, you know, what you are. But he's, you're absolutely amazing. And you're kind of retired now. You're kind of taking it easy. A little bit, but the yeah. agent called me last night. Oh, good. And he said to me, I'm going to call you tonight at 2 o'clock in the morning. I've got some days for you. So you're going to be back playing Well, again. I don't know, but I'm coming back on the Royal Princess from uh, Southampton to New York in the middle of September. And you'll be playing then? Well, yes. They asked me if I'd do a concert for them, and I said yes. Of course you'll do a concert. And then I'm going to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, because my, my dear friends are the um, promoters, producers of, he was an ex-SEAL, a Navy SEAL, and then he retired, and he now runs the SEAL Foundation. So he was the so one that I donated thing. the car to. Oh, how wonderful. I had this wonderful sports car, and I donated it to him, and I said, you have to sell it, I raffle it, and all the money you get for it. You, you put it for the, you for the, the foundation. foundation. That's amazing. Thank you very much. So um, we have to close out. We've had a long evening. It's been absolutely wonderful. Ray Cousins is amazing. He's just absolutely uh, very talented and has had the most beautiful life. But, you know, life is really quite funny. We all catch up. Yes. We all catch up. But it's always been wonderful meeting you again. Meeting you again. Love you. Take care. We'll be back. Bye.